With one in six homes and businesses at risk of flooding in the UK, it's important to prepare for the unexpected, because flooding isn't just about rivers and rain. When it strikes, it can be heartbreaking, but it's possible not to live in fear of flooding if we follow the right advice. That's why we've written the Code of Practice, a guide created by flood risk experts and six standards that have three phases of delivery. It brings peace of mind to home and business owners to make their properties flood resilient. It's not just about the physical measures needed, it's about assessing risk and delivering against it with the correct response. Property flood resilience is used to reduce the risk of damage to homes and businesses that may flood. If they do, PFR can help them recover quicker. It includes measures that buy time to get people, pets and belongings to safety. Ideas so that businesses can continue to operate. Where small things can make a difference or bigger steps might be required, such as pumps, flood doors or air bricks. The code outlines the right measures to take depending on risk or budget. But these measures will only work if fit for purpose and installed properly by experts, because unfortunately, some contractors are there only to take advantage. Like a plumber fitting a boiler, it's a task where real experience is required. The code highlights what's expected from professionals, so you can be sure of the right progress. The code outlines three key phases of work to deliver successful PFR – design, construction, operation. Historically, Sam's 17th century home has been flooded six times in 14 years. After experiencing their first flood themselves, they decided to work with the flood consultant and waterproofing company. Internal walls and floods were covered with a membrane and two pumps installed. Now, even with the water rising, the kids can still play safely and any seepage is evaporated with underfloor heating. When Claire's family moved into their new home, they had no idea of the threat of flooding. But years later, surface water poured in, filling their home with dirty water. A flood barrier had been installed in the past, but failed to provide protection. This time, Claire commissioned a local builder who specialised in flooding repair. Construction began and a waterproof tank was installed. Now when flooding happens, it only takes a couple of sweeps of a mop to take care of the water. When Joanne took over her shop, she was aware it had been flooded in the past, but she also knew that the right PFR and any future flooding damage could be limited. A steel barrier to slow the water combined with measures for a quick recovery. Tiled floors, waterproof plaster and copper clothes rails. Most importantly, they had a plan, so when the flood siren sounded, Joanne's team knew what to do. Once the water had passed, they were able to reopen the very next day. Whatever the future holds, those who followed the code can have peace of mind in preparation. Wherever you live or work, keep in mind these three simple phases to deliver successful PFR. And discover more about the code of practice and PFR at the following places.